Mom sees dog holding baby, has no idea what's in the grass. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. She was frozen and stunned. Despite having had the dog for only a few days, she was sure he had a gentle nature and wouldn't pose a threat to her family. Yet here he was manhandling her child. She got ready to retaliate, but then she noticed something that made her think twice. And when it dawned on her what was really going on, she couldn't believe she'd been this close to the unimaginable. It all began when Catherine Savillic and her husband had their daughter, Charlotte. After a few months of being a family of three, they decided to expand it further. But rather than have another baby, they thought it would be good for Charlotte to have a furry brother or sister. This would teach her responsibility and give her a loyal companion. But they didn't want just any dog. The Zavillics thought of buying a puppy from a breeder so they could get a dog with the exact characteristics they needed for their family. But they also wanted to give a loving home to a dog who didn't have one. As fate would have it, they soon learned of a rescue dog who had originally come from a breeder. The only problem was that this breed had a reputation for aggressive and unpredictable behavior. The dog in question was an adult male Doberman Pinscher. Dogs of this breed were originally bred as personal protection animals, so they're genetically predisposed to show ferocity and aggression. Their reputation certainly mirrors those traits, even though modern breeders have bred them to be more gentle and friendly. It certainly doesn't help that many Dobermans are used as guard dogs or police dogs, but there was something special about the dog that Catherine encountered. This Doberman had been bred by Carrie Kinder, owner of Doberanling Boarding Kennels in Atherton, Australia. She sold him to a customer, but later found out that he was being mistreated, so she rescued him. His condition was dire. He was starved and had broken ribs, which indicated he'd been beaten. It was so bad, in fact, that the vets pondered the possibility of putting him down. But then Catherine came into the picture. Even after learning of his turbulent past, Catherine couldn't help falling in love with this dog once she met him. He had a personality that made her feel at ease. And so, despite the warnings, she adopted him and named him Khan. She couldn't wait to bring him home to meet her 17-month-old daughter. But that didn't mean she was going to be reckless with a strange dog in the house. She decided to take every precaution. For the first few days that Khan was in Catherine's home, neither she nor her husband took their eyes off him. Baby Charlotte was mesmerized by her new furry brother, and he seemed to behave pretty well around her, always acting calm and gentle. Catherine thought to herself that she'd made the right decision, although she remained careful when the dog and baby interacted. Then one day, her whole perspective changed. Four days after bringing Khan home, Catherine took Charlotte out into the yard and let the two of them play together. Nothing was out of the ordinary until she noticed Khan was acting more forceful towards her daughter than usual. He kept nudging her and pushing her with his muzzle, something Catherine had never seen him do. Then he did something that almost made her heart jump out of her chest. Khan grabbed Charlotte by her diaper and tossed her about three feet across the yard. Catherine couldn't believe what she was seeing, and for a moment she froze in place not knowing what to do. She then ran to her daughter and picked her up in haste. She half expected Khan to attack her as well, but instead the dog did something strange. He cried out and bolted back inside the house. And that's when Catherine saw it. Catherine saw a king brown snake slithering away through the grass. Then it all dawned on her. Khan had spotted the serpent and tried to push Charlotte out of its way. When that didn't work, he picked her up and threw her clear out of danger's path. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I never would have believed it, Catherine said later. It might have been a bit rough, but it saved the child's life. That said, Khan himself did not come out unscathed. Catherine ran back inside the house and found Khan on the floor, whimpering. She realized he must have been bitten in the process of protecting baby Charlotte. Knowing the dangers of Australian wildlife, Catherine was well aware it was a race against the clock now. Khan needed to get to the vet and receive antivenom fast. There was only one problem. Catherine was home alone with Charlotte and Khan, a 90-pound dog. She still wasn't about to let him die after he saved her baby's life. With as much strength as she could muster, she picked up the injured dog and somehow got him in the front seat of her car. If you ask me to carry his weight right now, I don't think I'd be able to, she said, realizing it must have been an adrenaline rush. Now it was on to the vet. 
driving as fast as she could and probably ignoring some traffic regulations Catherine made it to the vet who rushed Khan in and gave him the shot of antivenom Though Catherine was anxious to know how her dog was doing the vet told her they'd have to wait till the next morning to see if the antidote had worked Reluctantly she went home not knowing what the outcome would be King brown snakes or mulga snakes are the most widespread venomous snakes in Australia Though their venom isn't known to be fatal to adult humans. It definitely could kill a dog or a small child Perhaps thanks to his size and weight Khan made it through the night an expert believes it's possibly survived because the snake wasn't able to inject all of its venom into his paw Whatever the reason Catherine was extremely grateful If Khan wants a gold bowl Khan gets it we owe him for the rest of his life said Catherine Khan's breeder Carrie knew he had it in his blood in fact she mentioned his grandfather once saved a child in similar circumstances and Khan himself was grateful to the Civilics for giving him a loving home he was starving for attention and wanted to be loved because he came from an abused home so I'm not surprised about what he's done at his new home